Oh, I'm sorry. 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 Yo, what's going on you guys? This is your boy RBG, aka the Random Black Gamer. Here are my lovely wife Johnny Lee on the ones and twos, and this is We Ain't Seen the Reactions, the place where we react to everything we've never seen. And if you haven't noticed the dark surroundings, it's time for some more Overlord reactions. Yeah, last time we left off, man, we got a chance to see our girl shout here, Blood Fallen, <laughs> showcase her epic and awesome abilities along with her little vampire brides that she got. I guess she got off a of Craigslist at the uh, pimp one treating them right. You know, she just converted them over to a uh, vampire, vampire academy or vampire salon or some shit. You know, like a religion vampire salon. Get it? I don't think so. Nation of vampire salon. No. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, um, I guess they're uh, on the look for a, a martial artist that can, I guess, like teach um, my man Momonga how to better fight or use his combat abilities because he's already capable when it comes to just magic in general. But I guess that'll actually make him more of a valiant fighter and leader in that category. So um, yeah, but all the while they were doing that, you know, they got these guys. I thought they was gonna get the one up on them because one of the maids, one of the maid warriors that my man Mamonga had was disguised, you know what I'm saying? And she very well endowed, you know, I'm some in her well, blouse. Well, I thought she was just a crazy ass Karen. I'm about to say, please slap this girl upside the head. Then I realized it was all- Yeah, uh, it's all just a rude. I was like- Yeah. Okay, trying to make it sound like they're in this noble family right. from the Baharut exactly. Empire or some stuff like that. And this guy right. named Zack, not to be confused with the Black Ranger, thought he was going to get all his goons and go to Pound Town. But they ended up getting sucked up to all their blood. And one nigga, well, Zack, got absorbed up in the old girl's titty meat. And yeah, so um, they were just going out on a killing spree, just trying to find this guy named Brain Unglaus who she came across, he thought he was going to be Captain Cocky Pants and slash her up, but realized that he was way out of his league in terms of abilities because he sure wasn't going to get no number or nothing like that. So we get a chance to see my girl transform into this vampire after absorbing all this blood and stuff like that. And after he makes his escape, he, she kills his warriors and then comes across these other guild warriors. And we see the girl that ends up going met back at the bar. And as soon as she's about to kill her, she, the girl pulls up the red <clears throat> potion. Yeah, just threw it at her. It's like, girl, I mean, I guess throwing that at the girl helped her out. But, like, what was that going to do? It's supposed to be a healing potion. Why would you want to throw that at the vampire that's trying to kill you? Why would you want them to heal? Nonetheless, like, that's still she spared her life. Did that at the spirit of moment. Right. It still yeah. got her life to be spared. I'm pretty yeah. sure she's going to play a significant role later on down the line because if they, they're not just going to keep showing her for nothing. Right. But, uh, yeah, shortly after that, you know, my girl... Um, what's her name? Shao something. Shao Tira. She sees these other warriors and they kind of got like a big group of faction with them and one's a more capable martial artist that she could try to tame or whatever. And this guy, he put some kind of spell on her. I think that's what the thing is. Like this guy somehow put a spell on her to make her do his bidding somehow and that's ultimately why you know they're trying to figure out what's going on why did she just do like a whole heel turn and join somebody else's faction so uh we're gonna we're see find out unfortunately yeah in this next episode which is titled episode 11 confusion and understanding so let's go ahead and get it man don't stop get it get it the leader Isaac wants to meet with you a vampire has been terrorizing the area outside of Irantel. The guild needs your help. They sound desperate. <laughs> she has to use I'm those. On my way. Let him know I'll be there soon. I guess the modder put those on because he has a thing for women with bunny ears. If this creature is indeed a vampire, we need to keep it from entering the city at all costs. Left unchecked, it could turn Irantel's populace into slaves. Mm. Is this foul beast involved in the recent cemetery incident? Well, I'm sure Mr. Momon here would know the answer to that. It must be nice to get bumped up to Mithril after only one quest, huh? <laughs> Don't be like that, Marge. After investigating... Oh, the somebody gotta be hating! Right! So, you know I'm good for it, man. I was meant to be above that. The dangerous cult obsessed with the undead, then the vampire has to be involved with them. I'm positive this creature is not affiliated with Zeranon. And how could you be so sure? That vampire is known as Ponyo Pinyonko. <laughs> <laughs> so is this honey 
pot, uh, I take it you're familiar <laughs> with this monster. Honeycomb. Indeed, I have quite a history with it. Not just any man could compete with the strength, but my team will get rid of this nuisance for you, no problem. <sighs> the hell you will! <clears throat> I'm sure you can kill it. Definitely. Because I have this, mm. there is eighth tier magic within this crystal. Oh. That's impossible. Everyone knows the eighth tier is just a myth. No way. That thing's a fake. I can get it appraised, but we'd be wasting valuable time. I'm going to. You'll just. This nigga's a hater. How dare a like He wants to be the glory. We do. We don't even know how powerful this vampire really is. Knock it off. You want to go find out? There's no need for such hostility. Tag along if you must. <laughs> I warn you. It means certain death. You bastard! I can't believe this, you monster! I'm gonna kill you! All of you! I explicitly said this would happen. You have no one but yourself to blame. <laughs> now it's time to face the consequences of your actions. If Mike comes with me, <laughs> tap you all. I wonder if they got a plush of that hamster. Probably. I you hope they don't. No. You should buy it for me. Shout here! Answer your master! You, you disrespectful little wet! Be quiet! Can this really be happening? What? No. It's impossible. But Shout here is clearly affected, even though she's undead. I can see there was a battle, and the victor took control of her mind. What is that? A super rare ring. <coughs> it's a shooting star. Three times a day. It lets the wearer cast the spell, Wish Upon a Star. Mm -mm. I hope she's impressed. This thing wasn't cheap. It cost me my entire summer bonus. Really? How so you spent real income on this shit? Magic? Well... <laughs> Sometimes you gotta spend... Uh, you gotta just do that. Correct. Using it requires a certain skill set. One that I happen to possess. Magic points don't affect the spell at all. And there is a long casting time. This ring cancels out the casting time. Plus, it activates the spell without using any experience points. I should be able to release Shout here in no time for that. Alright, get to okay. it. Shout here's a service. It's unnecessary to use such an important item on her. Man, shut up. Passion knows no bounds. What's this? Damn. It doesn't make sense. Someone here is stronger than super tier magic? Man, who is it? Is it another player? We're leaving! I'll bet him. Let's go! Lord! Lord? The security level of Nazarek needs to be raised to maximum. Also, every guardian needs to return home immediately. Excuse me. Lord Arden sent orders for all of us. We are to supervise the first, second, and third floors. <laughs> Nazarene is currently following the topmost alert protocol. Let's use this situation to show the supreme beings that we are completely loyal to them. So I'm talking about Kabu Terry, dude. The all powerful ones create us to do their bidding. If anyone fails to meet their expectations, then there's absolutely no purpose for their existence. Is this your first time in the treasury? Yes. I couldn't enter without the ring of Ein Zulga. It is the only key. A security feature. Glory to Ein's old go. Let's see. By this means, you will acquire the glory of the whole world. And so you will drive away all shadows and blindness. At least I believe that's correct. Mm -hmm. uh, Tabula, is that really you? Wait a second. It's an imposter! Who are you? And why are you disguised as my creator? <laughs> you may have copied his appearance Ooh. and aura perfectly, but I was able to see past your facade! Blur? Kill this thing! Are you sure? Pandora's actor! Change your form! What? Greetings to my big ass hands. You do. Why are you like one of them shy guys from uh, Mario? <laughs> yes! I couldn't be better, my good sir. It has been a while. To what do I owe this order? Now on the Sergei Dryanoff suit. World item! Changing the world with immense power! 
showing the greatness of the mighty supreme beings. They got your boy the plunderer. These treasures have been asleep for ages beneath Nasseri. I need billion blades, the genius chalice, avarice and selfless, and depiction of... I thought he just had one arm, but I see now that's how he had his coat. Great choices, Lord Kaloka. Another thing. Address me as Ainz from now on. I'm known as Ainz Old Go. Oh, what a great name. And it fits the wonderful man who created me. Lord Ainz! Oh no. I wonder how hardcore they're judging me because of this doofus. Be careful now, Lord Ainz. And you too, lovely ladies. <laughs> what did you do? Yes. I am leader of the Guardians, and Yuri is second in command of the Pleiades. You will show us the respect we both rightfully deserve. I agree with Alberto on this, sir. Really? That's only respectable. I can't control my tongue, not around such beautiful flowers. I need to talk to you in private. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, I think you're asking. I that I am the Lord who created you, correct? In fact, I take the deepest of pride. Then, as your maker, I demand that you stop with all the ridiculous saluting. Das ist mein Gottes Will! Do not speak German in front of me. That's another direct order. <laughs> I understood. Please obey me. I can't believe I've struggled to keep my emotions in check because I created this weird idiot. <laughs> this is more embarrassing than riding a giant hamster. Now, Beto, do you see that spot over there? That's where I'll put a statue of myself one of these days. Please don't talk like that. I can't bear to hear it. It tears my heart. Girl, get over here. My dear Lord Ives, you're the only one with enough kindness not to leave all of us alone here. Master, please say that you'll stay in Nazarene and be our leader until the end of time. Girl. We need you. <laughs> I beg of you. It's like, I should dial down the program into a minimum. He made her this way. Forgive me. Promise me something. Say that you won't abandon us. We'd never survive on our own. Not without your wisdom. I can't they don't know that yet. Why not? Right, just put them on autopilot. They'll be all right. Tell me what I've done and I'll fix it. There is nothing I wouldn't do to make things right in your eyes, my lord. If I am the problem, I swear I will repent and end my life here. Girl, stop it. <laughs> she is so extra. She's doing the only way to combat world no. of brainwashing is to fight fire with fire. We have no choice but to utilize world level items ourselves. So, you're positive? There's no doubt that a world item was used on her? I'm sure. And the Guardians need to be the ones who wield these weapons. <sighs> I have a plan. We will be able to save Shaltir. But how? The answer is... I wonder if he ever had a girl like him this much in real life. Probably not. I doubt it. ...of unrivaled destruction. They are currently in my possession. However, the power of a 20 is so large, it would be expended after just one use. I'm not aware of what other world items the enemy holds, so I'm hesitant to cast such a mighty spell right away. In the end, we may not have need for such extreme measures. What's wrong with me? Could I be more pathetic? Mm. No, please don't say that about yourself. The Supreme Ones worked hard to collect all these world items, and we shouldn't let them go to waste. They are more valuable than all of the Guardian's lives put together. Alberto, there is a reason I won't promise you that I'll come back to Lazarik. I'm going to fight Shaltir by myself. I won't promise because I'm not sure I'll survive the battle. Well, I can fight somebody that's a little bit on this level. That Shaltir has to be dealt with. It's too dangerous to leave her as she is. But for me, don't go. You have an entire army under your command. She doesn't stand a chance against the forces of Nazari. You don't understand, Umbedo. I have to. Let me explain. There are three reasons why. First off, I need to prove to myself that I'm a competent leader, worthy of my title. It was foolish of me not to consider the existence of world-level items in this new land. Of course they would exist if other Idrisal players are here. I completely overlooked this. Not a sign of a good leader, 
Decision. Right. There's gotta be <laughs> other players who got stuck in the game. Yes. And though we may be lacking, we will do everything we can to support you. The second reason. I'm like, you said a clock eye. I'm convinced this isn't a trap. Probably trying to pick out a booger. Are you sure? Shouter may be bait. The enemy could be waiting for us to attempt a rescue. And if they pounce, I'd rather be taken alone than risk having my people captured and maybe killed. The final reason is. I may have to exterminate Shoutier. In that case, let me come with you. I'll be the one to kill her. <laughs> she wants to. Right? She isn't ready for that. She is it's ain't a secure my chances in the bedroom. But it has to be me. Out of everyone who resides in Nazarene, I'm the only one that can overpower her. That is true. But you will have a greater chance of victory if you are armed with the world items. Shoutier is the one who has the advantage in this fight. She is a holy magic caster with strength against the undead. Her body was designed for battle. So you see, there is the possibility that she will defeat me. I'm afraid you're right. You have an urge to protect me, which is part of your programming. And your feelings and actions are solely based on your configurations, we said. Uh, <laughs> what I I do not understand. Really? It's about time you learned why I am called the Supreme Overlord. You'll see that I was given that name for a reason. Mm -mm. Oh, I knew it. She was going to be like, oh! <laughs> He's so sexy with his bony ass. It's like, girl, he is a skeletal. He ain't got nothing that can help you. He got no lips or tongue to kiss her. Yeah. I understand your situation now. But please, promise me that you will return. And I will no longer try and stop you. If that's what you mean, then I promise you I will come back alive. But first, I have to defeat Shao Tia. I have to defeat Shao Kahn. <laughs> but guys, that was episode 11, Confusion and Understanding. So, I ain't gonna lie to you. It does look like a person that's similar to him did this spell uh, by way of a world level item. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like only he's able to do all these impressive things with these out of the world oh, weapons yeah. and items, and only other person that can do that was an actual individual that also got stuck up in the game. What do you think about that? You think that's gonna actually raise Probably. the stakes a little bit? Yeah, I mean we have to imagine if he wasn't the only person sitting there. This is like a worldwide game. He couldn't have been the only person on the game when it was supposed to go off. So it probably is. That's what I was waiting for. Like some other person in the game or some other person who might have got stuck in the game right. like he did. So I'm sure that's what we're about to see, but I could be wrong. Yeah, I was thinking that, okay, it's a person and it's also like a modder that put this incurable status effect on my girl, Stall Terror, you know, or Shall Terror. Because like it just seemed like some somebody would do like if it was another person up in the game, it'd be nothing for them to figure out the coding, even though they can't see all the different like status effects like on screen, like the mm -hmm. the different things, like the UI display and all that. But um, who knows, man? It was something that I'm ready to get to the bottom of, and I can't wait to see what kind of um, weapons of Nazareth he's gonna use from the treasury. It's going to be interesting, you know, he's probably going to be reminded of all his different friends since he uses all their weapons mm -hmm. and puts them on the statues that he's made in remembrance of them. Maybe one of his friends that came back in form, like in the form of somebody else. Maybe. Maybe, you know, but I guess we'll have to wait and see. Uh, overall, I'll give this episode, I'll, I'll give it an A+. Plus. Like, I'm enjoying the backstory of some of these I'm different things. give it an A. So there you have it, guys, an A plus and an A. But we're finna go ahead and jump into this next episode, which is gonna be episode twelve, the Blood Valkyrie or the Bloody Valkyrie. Mm, mm, mm. Let's do Lord this. Man. Uh oh. She got on him like a little monk robe. Mm -hmm. All right, Mari. Mm -hmm. This is where we part ways. Scout the area for enemies as soon as we do. Understood? Lord. But, if you find yourself outnumbered by even the smallest degree, retreat to Nazareth at once. Understood, Lord Hans. We will do as you command. Excellent. Make sure that you do. Remember, your retreat is an important part of my overall plan. 
Strange. I use magic to detect the owner of the world item that's controlling Shout here, but they aren't nearby. Did they really just leave her out here alone? It doesn't make sense. And where do you think you are going? I'm sure it's obvious. My subordinates and I... Uh-oh! Uh, I see. Now I understand why you ordered me to meet you here the moment that I arrived. <laughs> this was your plan from the beginning. That's correct. You're a fool! What if Lord Ives perishes as a result of this? So you don't body? think he's worthy? To face the consequences of that outcome. All right, if he does he's die, y'all stock is gonna go up. Can you remember the Once like gone, no body pillows serve. and shit y'all can make money off of? I'm sure. <clears throat> you probably already got him in stock. Ooh. You should believe in your master. All right, but if something were to happen to Lord Ives, I will demand that he step down as leader of the Guardians. Mm. You would have her relinquish a position the supreme beings placed her in. That is blasphemy, Timmy Hirsch, of the highest caliber. Period. As you wish. Tell me, Cocytus, what do you think are the odds of Lord Ives being victorious? Three to seven. Three in Lord Ives' favor. Really? I see. Let's watch as the it's like I usually am used to y'all being kiss asses, but I didn't think he was gonna just say that he ain't got that big of a really chance. So, oh, girl, must be real, real, real strong. Yeah. How could something like this happen? I don't know who did this yet, but when I do, I will destroy them. Mm. I'll make sure they deeply regret standing in my way. <coughs> and that is the fastest way. <coughs> as for you. Don't you think this is a huge gamble as well, Shaktir? I don't even know if the resurrection mechanics back in Yggdrasil exist in this world, <laughs> but I'm about to start a battle with our lives on the line. Because... I'll be the one to kill her instead! Because I already right, know this is going to be a very good animated fight. And... I am the great Einzul Gom. That's right, that the you are. The team can never be tarnished by defeat. Body of a falling bell. As I suspected, unless I pull aggro with a natural attack, you won't go into combat mode, will you? Just like any MMO boss fight. Mm. Sorry, Shaltir, but I'm taking full advantage of this. You'll have to wait a little longer. Fire! Blessing of <laughs> Right, you gotta set up. Magic ward, holy. I don't blame Magic him. He say, I got prep time and make good use of it. Everlast, condom. Paranormal intuition, greater resistance, mantle of chaos, <laughs> and no ability, mana essence. And then you run out there and got beat after one hit because you forgot the one spell that would protect you from that particular one. Right. Magic arrow. What is his plan? Perhaps he wants to diminish Shaltir's HP quickly so she won't have time to counter him. Still no enemies. Interesting. They could be hiding in wait for me, but I can't waste this opportunity to attack. Mm. Goodness. I'm really going in blind here. Isn't she got a little wrist wrap on? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Okay, okay. I wonder why I can't read the voice on this watch. Yeah, that is interesting. Is she often play that Gangster's Paradise? Hmm. Hell yeah. I ain't never seen some bones who didn't deserve it. I borrow some strength from all of you. Now then, let's go. She must be. <laughs> right. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> Be careful, Lord Eyes. I might think you're trying to kill me. Nice try. <laughs> it wasn't much of a present, but I hope that you enjoyed it. Oh, I most certainly did. <laughs> That's cool. If she don't turn into that ugly form of Sheila Arrow, she won't be half bad. Right, I guess it's going to be like a more balanced power up. Why are you still calling me that? Oh, come on. Isn't it obvious? You are still one of the supreme beings, Lord Ives. I have to use all of my strength to counter and destroy whoever tries to bring me on. 
But why him? I don't know what's going on. But now that I've been attacked, I have no choice but to tear you limb from limb, Master. <laughs> I see. Very well, then. I know what's going on here. You seem a tad underdressed for the occasion, Master. Did you actually think you'd be able to beat me wearing nothing but dirty rags? <laughs> <laughs> that man put on his best monk outfit. I was like, this is just my Sunday school clothes. Mm-hmm. You know, I went from rags to bitches, but it's always nice to be reminded of humble beginnings. Watch your step. Damn. <laughs> I just got the little pixie wings. I think that's the first outfit he ever had. Exploring the area surrounding me. Yeah, I think so. Maximize magic. Gravity You don't say. Hey, right? Heal and prepare for the long haul. Please don't do the long haul. I won't make it that easy. <laughs> <laughs> I won't allow it. Negative karma ball. How did you stop me? Drifting mm. mastermind. <laughs> Gotta just add traps on the ground, bitch. Maximize magic. Astral smite. Astral smite. Rapper's delight. Mm. Maximize magic. Thousand bone lads. Ooh. Greater teleportation. Wow. I'm so surprised. Did you not know that I have skill like this in my arsenal, Lord Arms? No, but it won't save you. <laughs> I love watching you try to play tough. It's absolutely adorable. Mm. Do you know about my purified lads, or should I explain it to you? It summons a holy object. <laughs> <laughs> wow. For a weapon to battle magic casters, it doesn't disappoint, does it? They work so well against you. You better do something. <laughs> Shit. Don't underestimate me. Maximize magic. Reality smash. <laughs> The good shit. That's kind of cool. Yeah, it's like a slash reality in her. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what did you do? What's the matter, Lord Eyes? It seems like you're losing your composure. Don't worry, I didn't cheat. That was another one of my special skills. Lord Paramoncino saw fit to grace me with many of them. I dare say his foresight proves that he was far superior to you as a supreme being. Is that how you truly feel? Wow. Huh? Let's do the shout here. It doesn't matter how many special skills you have. My magic will always be stronger. Reality Slash! You're a fighting glitch! <laughs> be careful, Lord Eyes. You're running low on MP. Yeah, don't want to wait now. skills, but I still have plenty of MP left. Let's see how you handle my spellcraft. Maximize magic! Vermilion Nova! Has he pulled any of the treasury weapons out yet? Cause like, I'm just going blow for blow, seeing who can endure the most. He's a dead fire should have finished him. I used one holy spell after another against him. But in a battle of magic, Lord Eines is still far superior. Thankfully, I've managed to make his MP drop quite a bit. Body of a bulging barrel. Of a bulging barrel? Must be defensive magic. Probably. Good. I was bored anyway. It would be much more fun to rip you apart with my lance. You truly have me cornered. Mm-hmm. Huh? Then why don't you run away? At this point, it seems like your only chance is like her loyalty is still there. You might be right about that. Can't be. But 
Truth be told, seems like she like still this. likes him, but she can't be I'm loyal over there trying to beat him down. I don't want to run. It's funny. I feel strangely fulfilled as guild leader. But, given the current circumstances, I don't quite understand why that is. It may just be self-satisfaction. So it's pride? Here I thought you were beyond such human feelings. Who knows? You might be right about that. Look at me. I've really dabbled the mood with this, haven't I? Right. Let me take you out to dinner. Let's say Denny's. Grand oh, Sandwich. Oh shit. Okay, go Joe Hagashi on this bitch. Is them sharks up in yes. the cyclone? That is hilarious. Like a Sharknado or something. <laughs> you extract this bone barrel. Activate! <laughs> uh oh! Need a little right? Spiritual it doesn't, it doesn't moonwalk? Fly back. It's gotta be something on her that's allowing her to recover at a rapid rate. I know it's that thing up in the joust, right? The lance. Yeah, the lance. I think so. At last, she's using it. Shadow Tears' final trump card. The fuck? Shadow clone? Right. A holy clone. Boy, that's crazy. She is OP. She got she the damn is, vampire man. form, and then she got this battle sword. No problem. The one will play spell should be enough to take them out. Void and magic! Cry of the Banshee! And do haste. Oh, nice. I summon Mariah Carey. Whoa. Game over past the controller. <laughs> For a moment, I actually thought I would share in my household's dark fate. But thanks to the resurrection item Lord Paragonchino gave me, my HP is at max and I'm fresh as a daisy and ready to go and I'm some landscaping. However, your MP should be running on empty, meaning your offensive ability is next to nothing. And whatever spell you can muster would never take my HP down from full. You're right. Now then. Do you have any last words before I end you? Let's see. I suppose I could go on and on about how I'm defenseless without my MP. <laughs> or I could commend you for so expertly. He's got something planned. Mm -hmm. Instead, I think I'll thank you for fighting me with everything you have and ensuring my victory. <laughs> if you had fought me any other way, I would have never been able to execute my plan so flawlessly. <laughs> I gotta see this. What the plan? Seriously, man, this shit really getting good, man. Getting good. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Got a chance to see my man Momonga show up with his true potential, you know what I'm saying? Like all his different powers and stuff like that. And I was like, man, this is going to be out the chain. You know, we near the season finale of this thing, so you knew some imminent threat was going to be over the horizon. Which just I thought so it would be outside of his own camp, though. I mean, it's, it's like kind of like by proxy outside of that, you know, because somebody has her under their influence some kind of way with that damn world yeah. level item that they use <clears throat> that just lets you know how powerful people are on his team though yes yeah you know it's like even though they're under his servitude they still possess the power to beat him but mm -hmm. he's a a leader and you know the last person that's associated with the people that program them so mm -hmm. you know it's just one of those things but um this is going to be interesting because as we've seen he's not that good with close quarters combat you know he's just all about magic and he no longer has any mp but this character she's just as physically capable as she is magically capable mm -hmm. when it comes to stuff and she still got the damn lance which grants her the ability to be healed so it's going to be cool seeing how he's able to overcome this like what kind of ace does my man momonga have up his sleeve you know so uh yeah overall in terms of animation i have to give this an s and i was leaning towards giving it an a plus in terms of the overall scope of things like with the episode itself but i think i'm gonna lean more towards an s in that department as well overall so yeah what would you give it i give this an a plus 
Yeah, A plus. Yeah, that was uh, really good. I love the uh, the strategic aspects of this episode where we see both characters, you know, kind of having a little internal monologues here and there. Even though I think that does make it a little slow. I yeah, Shaltier's monologue was a little too long for my taste, mm-hmm. and it's still kind of weird seeing her think about things to go against her master with her former master, if you want to call him that. You know, because I'm like, okay, she's on the influence or something with this little curse. Or whatever, it should be something else going on. Maybe we hear the other person that's controlling her, but hey, that's just how it goes. But anyways, we're gonna go ahead and turn it over to you guys. We well finish the next episode. It's only one episode left in this season. Maybe so, man. I guess we're gonna go ahead and go out with a bang, man, and just jump in the episode. So we're gonna take it back from you guys. Thirteen, yeah, we're gonna take it back. Bring it, bring it back. So this is gonna be episode thirteen, player versus non-player character. I no, wonder what that means. That. Let's go ahead and do this. In player versus player, otherwise known as PvP, the most crucial part of combat is deceiving your opponent with false information. But you are nothing more than a mere AI. So that holy attacks aren't very effective, but still act as though they cause you damage. Mm. Or hide the fact that you're still weak to fire by fighting through the pain and keeping your composure. The next time you engage in PvP, you should constantly check both. Knowing everything about your enemy is vital if you want to execute your strategy. <laughs> I learned a lot about your abilities while my friend Pero Roncino was creating you. Pero you were his pride and joy. And ever since we so came funny. to this world, I've made it a point to memorize all the data concerning the profile names and PCs. You didn't know my skills. You said so. I was lying, of course. <laughs> I thought you'd use them more boldly. I'm lying, yes. If you had saved negative impact shield until the very end, I doubt I'd be standing here talking about this. Mm. He basically made her waste up all her MP. Mm. Perfect warrior! You finna get Nick? Now you got that oh. armor on, a uh, special kind of armor. Oh, okay, I'm about to say. Uh oh, that Griffith armor? For real? Everything has played out as I expected. Okay, so he's starting to use the treasury items. He's probably going to have right. different weapons to go with that armor. Allow him to change to the warrior class and use their equipment without penalty. Still, the fact that he can dock world champion armor is astounding. Oh, my beloved is truly wonderful. <laughs> You better know it. A cheesecake? That belonged to the Lord Warrior Takemi Kazuchi. Takemi Kazuchi? Right? Whatever the hell you said. I'm Zulgon does not know defeat. You aren't facing one supreme being, but 41. Mm. The might of all arms will go. Right, the whole gear on my back right now, literally. All of them. But you were destined to fail before this battle even started. Come on, baby, give it to me. See what you got, <laughs> Madhouse. <laughs> Ooh! You're wide open. The fuck? <laughs> yeah, possible speak. Did you think you had me? Oh, the daggers. Lord, she can't What you gonna do about that, girl? <laughs> 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 mm-hmm. That's those sticks where he had his pocket. Yeah, it's like they summoned the weapon. <laughs> that is so cool. Is it some giant pink spiky boxes? Yeah, like a gauntlet. That's crazy though, he gotta use all of this on her. I thought he said cash out. That's what it sounds like he said. I was so reckless, I should have saved some of them. Everything happened exactly as I intended it to. <laughs> <laughs> the power of the sun all in your ass. Let's go to results, Shelchia. This is where the climax begins. Ooh, 
Uh oh. Indeed, Monster Hunter mode. Now I understand the situation. Since Shaltier has completely given up on the Lions decided to deploy the axe. Blood sucking meat devourer. Blood sucking meat devourer, really? Anyway, the axe itself is highly unbalanced. Its size and weight forces the wheel to swing without accuracy. But since Shaltier has gone purely offensive, it's no issue. Yeah, exactly. Everything in this battle has gone according to Lord Ike's plan. His strategy is the work of pure genius. Hey, Big Brother Malonga, the timer you set is up. That's Lady Buka Buku Chagama. I'm curious. What do you think the timer was for? If mm -hmm. anything up to this point has transpired according to my desire, then the time of running out can only be one thing for the two of us. This is the end of our fight. We've reached the showdown. I've won. That's so. My HP says otherwise. A super tier magic attack won't be able to finish you when your health is still full. Which means all I had to do was lower your HP to the point that it could, and I have. That's your ass, Mr. Vampire Girl. Mr. Vampire Girl, you are something else. I'm weak when it comes to direct physical combat, but my magic defense more than makes up for it. Here it comes out here. <laughs> Super tier magic. Will you penicing stare? Ooh, hourglass. It can't be! Another cash shop item! Another cash shop item. He probably figured all his magic back. The fuck is that? Ooh! Bars. I do want to know what that was. Sucks he had to get rid of his former colleagues. So stupid. What kind of vampire lets herself get mind controlled? Continue to protect me, my guardians. Now, let us begin. Lord! It will cost 500 million gold to revive her. Shaltier, resurrect! <laughs> 500 million? Ooh, that look cool. So it's going to materialize into her body. I wouldn't have been wasting all my money like that. Shoot. Hey, I man. just made another one. I don't think he knows how to make it like that. Exactly how his friend made her. It is, my lord. It would seem she is free of the mind control. Wonderful. Thank goodness. I'm sorry, Shelter. This was all because of my mistake. No, please, Lord. I'm not sure what's going on here, but being in your arms could possibly be a mistake. Uh, so this is where my first time will be. Excuse me. Dress gonna suck the my marrow off from bones. Here is still out of it. Uh, you must be tired. <laughs> we'll go over the details later. You don't remember? Uh, no. I'm sorry, Shaltier. Then please tell me what you remember last. Well, other than hunting the humans, I remember giving you my regards before leaving the Great Tomb to join Sebus. After that, we rode a carriage into a large town. So the one who used the world-class item on her remains a mystery. That's the thing, bruh. Do you feel strange in any way? I feel like I usually do. I see. No! Your boobs. My chest is a washboard. <laughs> <laughs> you lamprey? Shaltier, do you have any idea how much suffering you put the rest of us through? Are so you gonna have to work for those again and level up those boobs? Pierce, still remember your blunder? Well, she don't remember. Why should she be ashamed? And the meaning of your existence as a god. Lord, I tore went through such a barrel of pain. I never thought something like this would be a possibility. The mistake was mine and mine alone. Understand? 
Shout to him. You are not guilty of anything. I want you to remember that. Always. Uh, thank you very much, Lord Hines. Demiurge, you will explain everything to her once she's had the chance to rest. Lord, by the way, Sebus failed to return to Nazarek as ordered. He is bait. We still don't know who targeted Shao Tin or why. But since Sebus was with her, there is a strong possibility that he will be next. Oh. Alberto, I want you to gather a team trained in stealth and have them scout the area near Sebus. Lord. He may be bait, but I have no intention of letting our enemy bite. Don't and do it. Make even the slightest move on Sebus. We're gonna pass on. We right. We gonna pull up. Someday, we will meet the one who used the world class item on Shouty. Well, I hope it don't take and that when long. When we do, I will pay back this debt a thousandfold. I made a major miscalculation before. It is now plainly obvious that someone out there has the strength to harm Nazarek. And if there's one, there could be others. No, oh, of course. I want to take immediate steps to strengthen Nazarek. I was thinking of using my necromancy skills to make an army of undead, but we would need bodies to turn. I've actually been thinking about that, Lord. It's true that undead soldiers can protect us from most intruders, but they are relatively powerless overall. Case in point, one human corpse can only become an undead of level 40 or below. You make a good point. Mm. There's a village of lizard men in the area. Okay. I found them while scouting. I wonder what kind of undead their corpses would make. I wonder that same thing. You are saying the Black Scripture, the strongest sect of the entire slain theocracy, were defeated by one measly vampire. Shit, he got the church attacking him. The Ikairi tried to stop it, using the downfall of castle and country. But she was injured before the mind control could fully... Pope Francis, Pope Joseph. Shortly after that. Which one is that over there? How do you propose we deal with this situation? We don't know the whereabouts of Negri from the Sunlight Scripture. And the Windflower Scripture is currently pursuing the traitor who stole the crown of wisdom from the Shaman Princess. With our forces spread so thin, the only thing we can do is keep the area under basic surveillance. We should be wary and keep our distance for now. Understood, Your Grace. Got an NSPC's review over here. So they kind of giving us a teaser there. Look at this nigga. And that's the Master Swordsman guy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Your will's been broken, I see. Great. Yes, I think. I'll be damned. Shit, I've why does he remind me of Paul from Bushiko Tensei when he was all broken in the next season? Mm -hmm. I've come! But or kill him. Oh, he's got me. So yet. that's him, Momon, the Raven Black Hero. A princess Nabe's with him. Hey, I heard they were the ones who destroyed that chunk of forest while they were fighting. You believe that? They might be strong, but they're still human. Only a handful of people can pull that off. That's why adamantite is the highest class you can get. Adamantite. I wouldn't be surprised if he ends up being the most powerful adamantite of all time. Nope. We've already the last job. We'd like another one, please. Something more challenging. I'm so sorry. I don't have any. None of the current <laughs> postings are worth an adventurer of your caliber, Mr. Mormon. It's how it be sometimes, man. Actually, you know what? Much perfect. I remembered something important. I'll be in my room. If anything comes up, will you let me know? Yes. The end of Shining Gold, right? Lord of Gargantua to activate. Call it as well. Have the Guardians ready to move by the time Kokaitis returns? This time, we're all going in together. Let's get. Girl, I don't need you. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just playing, y'all. I don't want y'all to get all mad and offended. Don't you say that. But, um, guys, that was episode 13, the season finale of season one, man. Um, Very good way to go out, even though it still leaves me with a lot of questions on who was this freaking user who put this damn spell on my girl. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's like, who who was uh, able to control Shaltir like that? But it seems like they got like this holy church or whatever. 
Ooh. Ooh. It's like, I don't mm-hmm. know if that guy, because I remember he was the last thing we saw before our old girl Shaltira got controlled and stuff. Uh-huh. And that makes me wonder, okay, is he a user, but he's just not like on a high overlord tier like my man Momonga is? Or is he just kind of like playing the game, you know, just utilizing certain factions to get what he wants at the end? You know, that kind of makes you wonder. But it seems like we're going to come across him later than sooner because now that a new season is going to start up, you're going to have to kind of gradually build it up in terms of the stakes and stuff like that. But uh, overall, man, I've really, really enjoyed this season, you know. Still want to know how, what's his name, Omanga goes on about his everyday life with like things like sleep and like eating and stuff like that within this world. Is that something that he requires? Is that something that he's going to want to do since, you know, that is a human aspect. You know, we love the sensation of eating and stuff like that. You know, there's just so many different questions I have about how this world uh, works and I hope they continue to explore that more. What did you think about this? I don't this? think it's what the hell happened in the first place. Yeah, like, what happened? Like, is anybody else? Uh, well, he said there could be multiple people like him, so I'm pretty sure we're going to see that later on down the line. I think we kind of got teased of that up in the openings. Yeah, I am ready to see what happens when he meets up with somebody like him, and how will he know that it's not an NPC? I don't know. I think he'll know because, like, other people actually know about that damn uh, guild that he has, you know what I'm saying? Like the Anzalgon name, which he intends to spread across the kingdom or whatever. Pretty sure other players will recognize that guild name or that uh, team faction name and they'll be like, oh, I know you guys. You guys are pricks and stuff like that. But, Maybe. Um, but yeah, I'll get this episode. I'll get this in a... In a yeah, I'm giving it a S in the overall season. In general, I guess I'll give that an A plus too, because there is a lot of stuff to take in, and it does kind of start off a little slow because it's trying to build up that thing and establish certain things within this world. So yeah, but hey, man, that's gonna do it officially for today. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this three episode reaction because we really had a blast reacting to these things with you and for you. If there's anything that we may have missed or got missing screwed, by all means, provide the proper context in the comment section below. Why don't you? But this is your boy RBG, aka the Random Black Gamer. My lovely wife, generally on the ones and twos. We ain't seen the reactions. We'll catch you guys on the next reaction to Overlord Season 2. Peace.